Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.13.14. Maybe point is coming soon. Seems like a lot. I don't know. I bet you're not tired of answering control questions. We're only on like 100 plus of them. Anyway, uh, the control is control and monitor the use of voice over internet protocol, VoIP technologies. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to control a phone call, it usually doesn't go that well, especially if it's with your wife. Anyway, uh, or husband. Anyway, uh, so, hey, look, I'll just get to the sample answer before I get myself in more hot water. Uh, if I was going to give you an answer, I'd say, hey, look, this is implemented. Uh, the VoIP system provider controls and monitors the security of the VoIP technology. Uh, VoIP system access is controlled via physical device lockdown to the physical premise, uh, internet connection and individual phone MAC address, right? So again, our phones, our VoIP phones are going to have MAC addresses. So it's not like they could really tie into another extension. This is hard programmed into the VoIP system. Uh, and then of course, it's got to be in the physical premise because in this case, we're referencing a VoIP system that's in the closet. So again, there's a lot of physical lockdown capability there. Uh, as no unauthorized users may enter the premise, no unauthorized users could access the VoIP system. Now, that, so that's one answer, right? That's one kind of VoIP system, right? If we had a real phone system in our office. Now, additional VoIP technologies, such as virtual meeting services like Teams, require authentication and identification for use and are monitored through the organization's SIEM system. Again, yes, there is a way to tie Teams into your SIEM system. Uh, again, lots and lots of ways to deal with VoIP technology. It is pretty expansive. We really just have to have a good enough answer here to describe how we're adequately controlling uh, and monitoring those communications. So, hey, if you're trying to comply with DFARS, NIST SP800171, or CMMC on your own, and looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're calling using VoIP technology, but we're all on call for you. Anyway, visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help. Self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website where we will have a VoIP phone call with you uh, over Zoom or Zoom government or you know some secure system. Anyway, it'll be monitored and controlled. But when you talk to us, it's always monitored and controlled. Or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button. Or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMC certification. Everybody's going to have to eventually go through it. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Watch what you say on the phone and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll call you on the next one.